Hello, it's Eric with Master Tool Repair. Uh, today, here's a short video on how to uh, identify and find a replacement uh, capacitor, a start and a run capacitor for your electric motor, for your compressor. Uh, here are two very popular types of capacitors. We have a start capacitor on the left and a run capacitor on the right. Typically, it'll state on the capacitor if it is start or run. Um, in this case, you see right here for motor starting, so it's pretty clear. Um, what you want to look for are three basic uh, specifications on your capacitor to find a replacement. Um, always use your uh, make and model number and uh, find your original part number and directly replace it with an OEM replacement if you can. So you always want to use a manufacturer direct replacement if you can. Again, you can look your model up on our website or uh, simply contact the manufacturer if you're not sure. But sometimes these capacitors are not listed on the breakdown for the compressor. A lot of times a manufacturer will use different brands of motors and different brands with different ratings uh, slightly vary, of course. If you don't have your motor uh, information or don't see the part numbers on the parts list, here's how to identify it. Here we have uh, two basic specs we want to look for, the microfarad rating and the voltage rating. Here is the microfarad rating, 455 MFD. MFD uh, denotes microfarads. You might also see UF. A small U and a capital F. That is also a microfarad rating. Over here, 125 VAC volts, and of course, 60 hertz. Um, every uh, North American, typically motor, we're on at 60 hertz. Um, so those are the two identifiers you want to match up, and they have to match up um, identically, perfectly. Have to have the exact microfarad rating and voltage. Um, of course, you have your contacts over here. Typically, you'll have uh, one wire going to each terminal so one here one here for wiring and typically um, you want to you know, simply you know how you uh, unhook the terminals on your old capacitor just hook them in the same exact locations obviously if you can um, but usually uh, two wires go to each capacitor and also the most important thing uh, is probably dimensions this right here, um, see it measures right about three inches and change, and of course the diameter. You certainly have to make sure the capacitor uh, is exactly the same dimension as your original. Uh, so measure the overall diameter um, of the capacitor, or width, uh, outside to outside, and of course the length of the capacitor. Um, and of course you have to match it up identically. If it is too small, um, then what will happen is a lot of times you'll have the casing for the, that covers the capacitor may touch one of these terminals. Um, if you have a metal capacitor, if it touches the casing, it can short out your capacitor. So it's very important that it's not too small or too large. Obviously, if it's too large, it will not fit and the cover won't fit over it. Uh, but if it's too small, you can probably pad it with some electrical tape and some, uh, some padding. Uh, but again, uh, try to get the closest match dimensionally as you can. Here on the right, we have our uh, run capacitor. And this is going to be a 250 or 20 UF, I'm sorry, 20 UF capacitor. That's again, your microfarad rating, little u, uh, little f, and it may also be denoted MFD, but in this case, it's denoted with the UF, 20 microfarad at 370 volts, obviously 60 hertz as well. Um, again, this is a slightly smaller capacitor. It's metal, it's from a different uh, motor manufacturer than the run capacitor is, or the start capacitor rather. And of course, you have your terminals on the uh, opposite end, and usually again, one and one. Uh, you know, but again, try to wire it up as you remove the other, the original, if you can. Um, again, make sure you measure dimensionally and you get the width and the length. Make sure it matches up perfectly. That is very, very important. On Master Tool Repair, on our run and motor capacitor uh, specifications, we do have under more info usually the dimensions of the capacitor. So you want to confirm that. If you don't have a dimensions or simply can't locate your capacitor for whatever reason, you can always contact the motor manufacturer, um, whether it be Marathon, GE, uh, you know, Baldor, and have them identify it for you. Well, very good. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to call in a sales rep. We can probably assist you further. And, uh, of course, visit MasterToolRepair.com for more information under motors. You'll see the capacitors on our uh, front page and for more information. Thanks again.